Okay, now I want to show you the enhancements of the retopo workflow. So for this I will get rid of all the unnecessary stuff in the viewport by using the clean view script. So I see only polygonal objects. And to start the retopo workflow you select the high res mesh and use this start retopo script which will ask you if the mesh is symmetrical. In this case, no. And now you see that the script made a setup with a shrink wrap deformer, created a new polygonal object, and also enabled poly snapping and the, re uh, the poly pen, which is a really good tool to make retopology. So I can just start uh, drawing my polygons here and the poly pen is really most useful for this kind of stuff. So you can track your points and just draw out your first loop. Now I will select all polygons and use my divider script. By holding shift it will divide the polygons and also smooth divide it. So you get this nice higher res version, so you get more to work with. But now you see <coughs> the mesh is not projected to the high res mesh. And that's because the shrink wrap deformer is off by default. That's because of performance reasons and also because I think it's better to work on a undeformed mesh. But that's where the reproject script comes in. So by pressing on this script, you will get a projected mesh and it will snap to the surface. And you will use this quite a lot. So anytime you make big changes, you want to reproject. And that's really flexible because the performance is really good and you can use any polygonal uh, modeling tools and also all my scripts work with this workflow. So you can now, for example, use the spline uh, snap tool uh, to make following. So I select the, these um, edges here and use the new sketch tool from Cinema Release 17. And let me just enable splines in the viewport. So now I can draw on the mesh the next um, loop. And to connect the spline with this edges, I just shift click on snap to spline and put in a subdivision value. And this will connect the spline with the selected edges and also make one subdivision. If I would press this script only without shift, it would snap the selected edges directly to the spline. But that's not what I want. I want to sh use shift and create a new patch. And now you can also do that with um, splines with many segments. So I added this functionality. So you can draw more than one spline. Just make sure in the tool you have create new spline disabled. So you will draw one spline with more than one segment. And now you have here four segments and these um, are selected. And if I now shift click on this and put in one subdivision this will create a patch and connect all the edges. Now I just need to reproject to get the mesh snap on the surface. So this is really a good workflow to draw out your uh, topology. So I just um, draw here and other segments and use the snap to spline with two subdivisions and it's done. So this is pretty powerful tool 
to really quickly get a lot of topology and now I want to use the grab tool which is included in the sculpting tools and the grab tool is pretty good for retopology because you can just grab your um, parts of the mesh and move them so they uh, have a nicer flow. And now I want to show you a trick. If you go to the grab tool in modifiers, you can enable modifiers and enable smooth and set this higher maybe. And now when you use the um, grab tool, it will at the same time smooth out the mesh. So you can move the mesh and at the same time it will smooth. So I use this a lot and it's really helpful. Of course by holding shift you could also smooth um, the mesh. But the, this um, is just to make it easier and I found it really good to make topology smooth and nice. So I could also now, if you have something like this and you want to um, make this a more uniform smooth um, shape, you can select these edges and use the um, smooth round edge script here to smooth edges out. So you can select edges and just smooth them. The same um, workflow works with the the uh, smooth edge script. So <coughs> if you select, for example, let's select these edges here and run the smooth edge script, I will disable precise spline in this case. And now you get a handle which you can move and modify your topology here on on this uh, surface like a bezier. So you can uh, move this edge and if you want to uh, have more influence you use the radius increase um, uh, script here to increase the effect of the smooth edge setup. So now you can s uh, move bigger parts or you decrease to only move this row of edge and modify it with a spline. If you are done, you just use the this script to convert it again back to the polygonal mesh and you can just keep uh, working on this uh, by using the polypan or any other modeling tools. So any big changes you make you need to reproject. So this is pretty good workflow because you can use any tools and can make retopology much easier and faster. I want to show you another example so you can see how I would go about this one and how you could use these tools. So I start by selecting the object and run the retopo script. Um, this time the mesh is symmetrical so I press yes and this will set up a symmetry object with a polygonal object and a shrink wrap deformer. And I can start drawing out um, polygons. So I, this time I want to make this really low poly and later um, I want to define more detail but um, with the reprojector I can just um, do it low poly and later I just subdivide and make the high poly projection. So I just draw out really rough um, what I uh, need. So I just need the uh, edges and loops where these arms come out. So maybe I want here another one and drag these out. But I'm really working at a rough state here. 
And that's enough. Um, that's all you need to begin with. And we will care about more detail later. So uh, in this state I'm laying out some topology but um, not caring about detail. And the polypen is the most used tool in this case. In this phase I'm really trying out extruding out edges and um, making a really rough rough shape here. And I also want to use the reproject script to have everything uh, projected to the high-res uh, high mesh. And let's do something here. Let's subdivide a and make a cut here. And drag these over here. So polypen is king here. Um, and let's say we are really happy with this scrappy topology and um, I want now to fix this uh, center uh, loop here and I use the symmetry fix script put in a value like 10 and this will fix this symmetry plane for me so we get a closed mesh and Let's assume this is what we want and I want to now um, use more detail. So I subdivide all polygons with the divider script holding shift and reproject again. And this looks already quite good. There's some issues here but this is easy to fix with the crab tool. So I use the crab tool and the smooth modifier to just uh, move around the topology a bit and smooth it out um, in the same time. And now if you are happy you can um, select these edges here and just uh, by using the move tool with control clicked I drag these out. Uh, you might wonder why you don't see back here that's because um, back face calling us on so maybe you want to turn that off. Let's rotate this a bit and let's use reproject and now it's projected to the mesh but you will get some issues if you're working quite off the mesh, like in this case I'm really quite a bit off the mesh. You might want to um, put this closer and then project to get a nicer result. Or you can also use my even distribution script to distribute these um, um, points on this edge selection. So let's undo this and you see that here this edge is much smaller than this. So by using the even distribution this gets um, nicely distributed and each um, edge here has the same length. And now you can just rotate this a bit and I will do some loop cuts here and after I did the loop cuts I just reproject and it will fit to the high-res mesh. So this way I could just go ahead and um, draw out here the loops for the leg and the same with all the other body parts here. I, I would just leave it at this point. Here I need to do another uh, symmetry fix and now this gap is closed again and if I now hide the high-res mesh you see only the retopo mesh and this is for the amount of time I spent with this it's quite 
good, I think. Uh, of course, you can do it better. <laughs> now I want to show you another case where you can um, work on an existing topology and just continue. So if you have um, two meshes, the high res and the low res, like this is high res and the low res I made already in ZBrush with a nice topology. Um, but there are some issues I want to fix. So the auto read topology is really great in many cases, but there's stuff like these spiral um, loops. If you try to select a loop here, you see that these are spirals and I want to get rid of them. So with a high res mesh and a low res mesh selected, I run the retopo start and in this case it's symmetrical so I press yes and this will automatically detect which is the low res mesh and put it into a symmetry object, delete half of it and um, link the shrink warp to the high res. And now I can just um, oops, select some polygons here and delete these. So I will just um, delete these here. And with the polypen, I will just connect these up here. And this edge, I will just melt down here. And now with the loop selection, I select this ring. And with the scaling tool and control, you can now just drag out and nice loop. And I will just use the projection um, script to project it. And to get rid of this, I can just use the smooth script here and reproject and do another extrusion and project it and so on. So I can just draw out this and project it and in this case, I will now use the grab tool with the smooth modifier and just smooth these part, parts here. I think I will do one more. And this one I will just close with the uh, close hole tool. And now I have um, some nice loops here. And yeah, so now I'm happy. And yeah, I just wanted to show you that you can also proceed with an existing retopo mesh. Just select the high res and the low res and run the script and it will detect the lowers and make everything for you.